Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today I'd just like to talk about the coolness of certain watches. And uh, i got to tell you, <clears throat> my good friend Craig Teal Jones sent me the story on the, the Omega Polar Expedition watch yesterday. And, uh, you know, what a cool story. The guy was an insurance salesman who wanted to drive a fucking snowmobile to the fucking North Pole. Using a sextant and an Omega Speedmaster, he worked out <coughs> the coordinates to get to the North Pole. What a fucking cool adventure. Minus 50 fucking degrees, fuckers. Fucking cold. And uh, what a wonderful story. And it's not that long ago. What, late 60s? And, you know, you read that there... And I had my Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon on my wrist. You think, what a fucking cool story. It's not staged. It's not PR spin. <clears throat> it's just a fucking mad insurance salesman who wants to fucking do something amazing. And uh, it's just so cool. So fucking cool. <laughs> and... Uh, <clears throat> I just love it. I just love this type of story. And you think about it, right? There's so many of these older, you know, things that happen with these watches. Now, you know, if, if, if they were going somewhere, some sort of adventure, it'd be a big business. They'd have big sponsorship deals and whoever paid the most or did this, gave the most, would get the, the watch. It's all so fake and bullshit, Whereas these old stories, it's so fucking cool. You know, it's so cool to hear the story. And um, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's just, <clears throat> it's a cool story. And, and I love it. I love the coolness to this story. And uh, there's other, you know, <clears throat> you look at some of the watches from bygone era. I mean, fuck. The Amiga Seamaster in the Bond movies, I mean, that just screams product placement. You know, it's not actually like the original James Bond Submariner. It just so happened one of the cameramen owned it and it was on a strap. It was on a NATO strap because the band had broken and that's what James Bond wore. You know, that was just a cool way things happen. When things are staged, it just becomes phony and artificial. And uh, that's what I love about some of these iconic pieces. They, they, these are pieces where, you know, the story's real, you know. Like the, the, the Reverso Grand Date. That's an officer's watch in India when the fuckers were playing polo. What a cool story. You know, it's just, just, such, a, just such a great tale to spin. Now... Some fucking footballer who fucking earns squillions. You know, it's just it's not the same. It's not the fucking same. You know, it's just... It's just just phony. It's artificial. But these older tales, what cool adventures. And uh, it's just so, so cool. And uh, I just love it. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. Of cool adventures with wristwatches. Hello fuckers, Archie Luxury here. Very, very simple bit of advice. If you're in Brisbane, Australia, Brisbane, Australia, and you're looking for a, a wristwatch, either new or used, or you're looking for a wristwatch repair, come and see my friends at Brisbane Vintage Watches. These are good fuckers to deal with. They're honest, they're enthusiasts, they love watches and they'll look after you. And best of all, they're one of the best dealers I know of. And uh, I, I really love the guys at Brisbane Vintage Watches. So fuckers, if you're looking for a, uh, a wristwatch in Brisbane town, Australia, please contact my friends at Brisbane Vintage Watches. See you later fuckers.